afternoon. It's Thursday. I worked all morning, and then now I am painting the ceiling of my office. Want to watch? Vicious pit bull attack. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> I am so tired. I have no energy to do anything. We're at the 99 cent store for our Thursday video. I just want to take nappies. Refreshing. I want to have a massage and then go to sleep. Ooh, I want a fireplace and then warm cookies while we watch a movie, but also I just go to sleep, but also I want a massage. Oh, I'm gonna shave my legs and then get into a bed that has silk sheets. Ooh, yeah. With like nice and cold, but a huge duvet. Ooh, yeah. That's what I want. Tempur-Pedic mattress. I need my back adjusted and then massaged. And then I want the degrees outside to be like 10 lower. <laughs> so I have a nice warm cup of broth. <laughs> I lost you with the broth. You lost me with the broth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my back hurts. Painting sucks. Let's go. We can do this. Can I do it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's just going for it. Don't know what they are. You're done. Nippy! <laughs> oh, I, sorry, mother. I did not see you there. Yeah. Trigger warning. Dog comment. Um, so we were in the middle of filming and Blaze just threw up everywhere. Oh, oh, just a little piece came back out. Okay. If you ever like, I want on a dog, that seems fun. Stop. Think. Don't. Just play with your friend's dogs who made the stupid decision to get a dog. You could offer to dog sit. You don't have to own one. You don't. Because then this is your life. And you don't know why. You can't ask, do you still feel bad? Are you gonna do it again? Is it something you ate? You don't know. You can't ask questions. You just have to continuously pick up dog vomit and diarrhea. So again, if you're like, I'm gonna get a dog, stop, think, don't. I love you so much. And if your brother was out, he would try and eat your vomit. That's another thing. So when your one dog feels sick and you have multiple, put the other one away so they can't eat each other's vomit. If you're, if you're planning on getting two dogs, stop. Think, don't do it. Three dogs, no. Are you okay, Blaze Boy? Because now I'm gonna be concerned the rest of the day because his tummy hurts and that makes me sad. I'm not mad at you. You did nothing wrong. This is an energy of concernedness. He's not even paying attention. No. He doesn't know how to bite things. You almost, oh, you almost had it. You got this, Snoop. Enrichment. <laughs> Enrichment. Problem solving skills. Look how fat he is. I love it. Look at how fat he is. Yeah, that's your <laughs> costume. We just filmed uh, Thursday's video. We're cleaning up. Em's gonna head out. And then uh, Abby and I are going over to Zara's. It's a mini girls night. Most of the girls are out of town, so we're just gonna go have pasta. All right, one more bite. One more bite. Dogs can eat apples, but make sure they don't get the apple seeds. Or the core. Or the core.
I've had a terrible day slash morning slash night, night last night. Got into bed at a normal time last night. Didn't drink. You didn't eat in a gross meal or anything. But for some reason, woke up at 5 a.m. wide awake. I went to bed at like 10, 30, 11. I went to bed at 11. I woke up at five and my body was like, you're awake now. I was like, no, 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 no. I can sleep for another two to three more hours. And it was like, no, it's time to get up. So I got out of bed because I didn't want to flip flop around and wake up Abby. So I got out of bed and sat and watched My Name is Earl till about 8 a.m. And then I fell asleep for 20 minutes, woke back up, started working because I was like, okay. And I'm exhausted now because I didn't sleep those two to three extra hours that I should have slept. So I'm beyond exhausted. And then Blaze just started throwing up again. He's thrown up three times this morning, four times, four times this morning. So we are now out of paper towels and laundry detergent. So I have to run to the store to go get that. Em and I have two videos to film today. So I'm just stressed and exhausted and we have to drive to some part of middle California for my cousin's wedding. And I don't have the energy for this. So Lord help us all. Hello, it is Saturday and I am at a campground in Buellton for my cousin Amy's wedding. She's getting married today and uh, she was really smart and rented, there's like this campground with like cabins and stuff and all the cabins around here are just filled with her, her family and her fiance's family. So last night we uh, had a cocktail hour and hung out with a bunch of people. I got to see a lot of my family I haven't seen in years. So that was really, really nice. Uh, and today is the wedding, but wedding's not till four. And so Abby and I are gonna make our way over to Solvang, which is a little Dutch town right next to Buellton. And we're gonna go get lunch there and hang out for a bit before we come back and get ready for the wedding. Uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna film because this isn't like a YouTuber event, <laughs> but we'll see. So uh, on our way to Solvang, I saw the ostrich farm. This is something we used to do as kids. You can feed ostriches. Have you ever done it? I dropped the phone. I dropped it. <laughs> She's never done it. We're going to do it. You said you like birds. Yeah, they try and steal the bull. Grooming. <laughs> Perfect, let's get it. I don't know what this is. It's a piece of bread with shrimp, un that cold shrimp with Mayonnaise, tomato, lemon, asparagus, a side of potato salad. I love tomatoes. Well, yours looks great. Eat up. You get air. So that food ended up actually being delicious. Um, and we were gonna walk around solving a little more. It's 1.30. But... Don't look at me. But uh, <laughs> we decided to come home and take a nap. We were up pretty late um, hanging out with everyone last night. So we are exhausted and we're gonna take a nap. I lay like here for like an hour and a half and get up and get ready for this wedding. Okay. We're <laughs> 